Former West Michigan Congressman Peter Meyer has officially thrown his hat in the ring of in hopes of becoming Michigan's next Republican senator. Meyer making the announcement this morning, writing in a release, quote, My wife and I considered every aspect of the campaign and are confident we have the best chance of taking back this seat for the Republicans and fighting hard for a conservative future. We are in dark and uncertain times. We've made it through worse. The challenges are great, but so is our country. Senator Debbie Stabenow is retiring next year. Our political reporter, Rachel Louise, just breaks down the state of the race as the primary rapidly approaches. One year out from the general election and Michigan Senate races are starting to welcome in the final slate of candidates. With a rare open seat, political experts say Michigan should prepare for a lot of attention next year in the form of advertising and donations. As an open seat race uh, in a swing state will be a very, will be close to the top of uh, 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 target races. On the Republican side, Peter Meyer joins seven others, including former Congressman Mike Rogers and former Detroit Police Chief James Craig. Well, I see this in some ways as a, a test of the, the current condition of the Michigan Republican Party, uh, which by, you know, a lot of measures right now is not in especially great shape. Meyer lost his primary race last year to a Trump-endorsed John Gibbs, with many pointing to Meyer's decision to impeach the former president over January 6th as the reason he was voted out. Trump's role in the race could be key next year. Political experts I talked to say Trump's endorsement was helpful for candidates in the Michigan primary last year. Statewide Republican candidates Trump endorsed won their primaries, but then lost the midterm elections. For those Michigan Republicans that want to win elections, somebody like Peter Meyer might be a great candidate for them. For those Republicans in Michigan that want to please Donald Trump, Peter Meyer is probably the worst possible candidate for them. On the Democratic side, Congresswoman Alyssa Slotkin has picked up millions in donations. I wouldn't call the, the Democratic race yet. The voters still get to speak and there's a long time uh, to, to go, but certainly Alyssa Slotkin uh, is uh, the leader in terms of uh, early support uh, and fundraising. Michigan saw a blue tidal wave last year with Democrats winning every major statewide election and picking up control of both chambers of the legislature for the first time since Ronald Reagan was president. But political experts warn this statewide election may not end up looking like 2022s. There are now uh, quality candidates running on both sides of the aisle. So uh, that's different than, say, the governor's race where uh, we, we had a lot of candidates, but none of them had previous political experience. In Lansing, Rachel Louise Just.